Howdy everybody. Today we're gonna to be camping on the side of a hill overlooking a river. It's raining, so I don't think the campfire is gonna be happening, but definitely have something special planned for dinner later. So stick around. Well, the weather's not the best, but the view's not bad. The rain looks like it's gonna hold off, so I might actually have a small fire for a little while, while there's still a little bit of light, and then we're gonna cook. I don't know how good this fire is going to be doing for me, guys. I'm going to try to get it going for a little bit longer. Keep sipping on my spin drift. And uh, I'll probably go in the van here pretty soon. It's too gross out here anyways. Too much rain, not enough of that. All right, that fire didn't last long, but <clears throat> something about camping. You gotta have a fire when you camp. But I am very hungry. Oh, this thing's soaking wet. I am very hungry, and it's time to make meatball subs. I was going back and forth about what I wanted to make, but I wanted to make a one-pot meal, so I decided on meatball subs. So, let's get started. Get these pillows out of the way. So I need to point something out. This hill that I'm on is facing that way. So, I'm sliding, and um, <clears throat> I can feel it, it's noticeable. But hopefully it won't be too noticeable when I sleep. If my head is over on that side, I think I'll be fine. But I am kind of worried about the roll that way. But we'll see. Let's do our prep first. I got some veggies I want to prep. Because I like a good amount of veggies in my marinara sauce. And I'm actually going to be making a homemade marinara sauce. Got some peppers. Got an onion. And some garlic. So this drawer down here is mostly kitchen stuff, tea, and a couple towels. I have two drawers for clothes and that's all I need for that. I got me a small sweet yellow onion. I'm from Georgia and I like my Vidalias. I think I'm going to use three peppers. Bell 
peppers chopped up. I'm actually going to put the, the vegetables to the side for a little bit and brown the meatballs real quick, take them out, and then I will get the sauce rolling. So we need to pull out my induction cooktop, which is stuck. Let me get the pan. I hope y'all don't get too upset with me. I got ready to make ready-made meatballs. Just cooking meatballs in here alone is kind of a feat in itself. So hopefully y'all can forgive me for not making homemade meatballs. Getting a nice brown color on these. All right, I think we ran into a problem. I don't have a can opener. So what we got is Cento Puree San Marzano Tomatoes. Um, I have to use a pocket knife to try to open them. Thankfully, I've done this before. This takes a really, really long time. I remove the meatballs and then I'm going to toss my veggies and my garlic in. y'all we're gonna add the pureed tomato in if I can get it out of the barely open can got by my herbs okay guys I am going to get cleaned up a little bit while this simmers I'm gonna get that nice and hot and then toss the meatballs in and then that's gonna have to simmer away so I'm gonna clean up and check with you guys in a little bit. All right, so got this steaming away. Just adding the meatballs in real quick. I'm glad I browned the meatballs up. I think all of our Italian grandmothers would be proud of us. And then pop a lid on it. so I've had to call an audible the hill that I'm on is actually so steep that all of my sauce was so far to that side of the pan it was burning on this side <clears throat> um, I thought the first thing that I used to prop it up was good enough but it wasn't so I finished my first spin drift and was able to smush it to about like that so the back of my <laughs> induction cooktop is lifted up by about that much just to keep the sauce level um 
So I probably shouldn't really be camping on this hill the way that I am. Probably not safe. All right, I'm actually gonna move that over because I have one very special thing that should be in every meatball sub. And that is... Fresh mutts. I got a whole big chunk right here. So, I don't have any way to keep the spare. Oh, wait. I don't have anywhere to put any of this spare stuff. Oops. I don't carry Tupperware usually. I'm going to cut me about, I don't know, probably three really good slices. All right, guys, I think we're getting close. So, I'll go ahead and get a plate out. Got some nice hoagie rolls from Publix. I'm gonna put a slice down the center. I think this has been simmering long enough. I tried one of the meatballs, or at least broke one open. It looked like it was cooked all the way. Nice mozzarella in there. Get a little extra sauce. Well, I made a complete mess, but, and this looks good. Meatball sub in the back of a minivan. Oh my goodness. I'm excited about this. All right, y'all, no more messing around. I'm hungry. Wow, this is like gonna be a messy one. I'm gonna go to this side first. Mm. Got the cheese pull and everything, guys. It is so unbelievably good. Oh my gosh. I'm blown away. All right, y'all. I'm going to keep eating this sandwich. Maybe watch some Netflix or something. But I know what's going to happen after I eat this big old sandwich. Your boy's going to be tired. On a side note, if you saw that cheese pool, you know why I use fresh mozzarella. All right, so I am full, I am tired, and I think what I'm gonna do for a while until I pass out is just watch some, either some scary movies or shows, 
or some UFO mysteries or something. I know I'm not tired enough just to fall asleep right away, so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna zone out for a little bit on something mindless. From an alien craft that crashed in Roswell, New Mexico at the same time that year. He later described attempts to extract and analyze that technology and use it for human advancements. He said when he was working at the White House that his job was to take some of the technology and take it to court. Alright, y'all. <clears throat> I'm so tired. I've been watching the UFO mystery series for quite some time now. So I'm going to finish eating this little bit of fresh fruit I got. A little bit of melons. Pineapple. And then I'm going to bed. Got a little cold, so I broke out the heating pad, and it's working a treat. Um, so. Finished watching this. I'm going to bed. Catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. That was a peaceful sleep with the rain last night. It's about 7 o'clock. I'm about to wake up, make me some tea, and get going. Because i got to go ahead and get back on the road. To get started. to straighten out for a second because it was all over the place in here as it can get quickly let's get a pot of tea going talk about last night so being on this hill was tough <laughs> I am leaning very hard in that direction I know I said it last night but it is um, it's been very noticeable the entire time when I was sleeping I was falling back towards that direction and uh, I don't know Give me a sense of vertigo is the best way I can describe it. Fortunately, though, I this was keeping me from rolling anywhere. Um, what I just did is I curled up in a ball and kind of leaned against the counter. And it kept me from feeling like I was going backwards. But that was pretty much the only thing. It was... Very disorienting. I still managed to get some good sleep, despite the fact, but I don't know what the likelihood of me camping in this spot again is. This morning, guys, I am doing a sweet tangerine positive energy and a organic jasmine green tea. I've been mixing my teas lately. 
seems to be the right way to get a nice amount of strength because a lot of tees are fairly weak in my opinion but I also found this stuff called true lemon it's crystallized lemon it's no sweeteners nothing it's literally just crystallized lemon so that prevents me from having to keep lemons around and cutting them and everything I found it a couple weeks ago and I've been using it ever since now don't get me wrong a fresh lemon would be better um, and I would prefer to use a fresh lemon but given the circumstances the crystallized lemon works out a lot Cheers. Well, weather hasn't gotten any better, folks. Appreciate you guys joining me. Hopefully you stick around for the next one. I'll take it easy. Peace.